This is happening. This is really happening. Everyone on their feet in here right now. 12 years in the making of this rematch. 165 pounds for Eddie Bravo, 155 for Hoyler Gracie, representing Gracie Umaita, and of course, Eddie Bravo representing his 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu crew. And let's take a look at the rules once again. One round of 20 minutes, submission only. Kill hooks are allowed. You can't strike. No slamming from the guard, and of course, no small joint manipulations. This rematch is finally happening. Everyone's going nuts in here. Kenny, I'm so excited. Ladies and gentlemen in attendance, and people watching from around the world. You know what time it is. The reason we're all here today, it's a little awkward for me because I feel like I'm in between family and friends right now. But I love it too. Make some noise right now, LA. In the red corner, from Santa Ana, California, 43 years old, representing 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu. He's a third degree black belt under Jean Jacques Machado. Eddie Bravo! He is motivating me so much. I'm, I'm so. And in the blue corner, from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, 48 years old, 155 pounds, representing Gracie Humaita. He is a seventh degree black belt under the legendary late Helio Gracie. He is Hoyler Gracie. Once again, your referee tonight will be Scott Nelson. I want you guys to fight for the submission, go for the kill. Do not stop until I tell you to stop. Shake hands, take a few steps back, on my go. Go. Everybody associated with this is just honored and privileged to be there. I, I know I am, Kenny. I'm honored to be sitting next to you, and I'm honored to be commentating, in my opinion, what is the greatest rematch in jiu-jitsu history. And Eddie Bravo immediately jumps guard. He's in his half guard. You see that half guard, Kenny? Kind of a quarter guard, maybe. Uh, a position that I know that Eddie Bravo has worked on a lot. Yeah, look, look for Eddie to uh, start using his lockdown technique here from the half guard where he uh, actually, he's almost in that position now where the bottom leg, you see his, it'll be his right leg, will triangle underneath the left leg. I'm gonna get super dorky and technical on you guys here. But Please that's do. how you have to be with, uh, when you're studying these guys' games. You now have now to this is also a, down. a pass that Hoyler Gracie really likes. He likes to right. cut across with that kind of knee slide there. Right. So both of these guys in strong positions, just different takes on it. And it looks like Eddie's trying to get underneath yeah. and under the hips of Hoyler. Now, I'll tell you, Kenny, I have actually had the uh, opportunity and privilege to train with Hoyler for this event. And, and let me tell you right now, that knee slice guard pass that he does with that right knee or his left knee is, is, is very, very difficult to contain and stop. He is, is just, the, the way he trims his hips, the, the power in which he does it, I mean, the leverage he gets with it, it's, it's I'll tell you, man, I'm 20 years younger than the man, and he was all over me. It's so impressive, both these guys, Eddie Bravo at 43 years old and Hoyler Gracie at 48, just in tremendous shape. Unreal. Both these guys really look great here on Fight Week. What a privilege for everybody in, in attendance to, to be able to be here and see this. I mean, you know, I say it a lot, you know, in the MMA game, but every time you, you have the opportunity to face a legend, you have the ability to steal, you know, all those credentials, all, all, yeah. all of his accomplishments, and that is what Eddie Bravo did with that upset win in ADCC, yeah, a and uh, Eddie Bravo obviously made a huge name for himself. For him to come out here and do it again would be 
a huge, yeah. huge feather in his cap. Yeah. Both of these guys, of course, Each going down as legends. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. and, and what and a win it would be if Eddie Bravo could pull it off twice. Yeah, how funny is that, that it, despite Eddie Bravo winning, winning the match they had last, he's still considered the underdog. There is the coach of Eddie Bravo, John Jacques Machado, right there, the, the legend. And only, ladies and gentlemen, John Jacques Machado, Abu Dhabi champion. Uh, too many accolades for me to even begin to mention, yes. to begin to list. Uh, inspirational, one of the most inspirational figures in jiu-jitsu today. Right, for those of you who don't know, Jean Jacques has partial use of his left hand. Nice, keep He's, it across, uh, keep and, it and regardless of, of, of only having a thumb on his left hand, managed to strangle almost everybody that comes his way. Thinks, absolutely. <laughs> Guy is a beast, and look at this. This is look at that straight grip. out of the repertoire of Hoyler Gracie here. He's trying to reach behind the neck of Eddie Bravo and look for that knee slide, trying to cut through the guard of Eddie Bravo. Eddie Bravo, very, very stingy with that half guard right now, though. Yeah, I can tell you Eddie is going to try to uh, slow the pace down of Hoyler uh, and, and, and kind of bring him into his game and, and, and try to tangle him up, try to lock him down. As I mentioned earlier, a technique that Hoyler, uh, sorry, Eddie is really, really good at, the lockdown. Um, because, you know, Hoyler, Hoyler compared to Eddie has a speed-based game. Hoyler is, is much faster. Hoyler is, uh, you know, much better on top. All, all this on paper, of course. Right. Um, so look for Eddie to try to slow the pace down here. And of course, when I was training with Hoyler, that was a big part of the uh, of the camp was was being able to shut down, uh, you know, Eddie's attacks here. Now and that's a very much a part of Hoyler's game. I mean, throughout his whole career, his whole style was to shut you down, yeah. be fundamentally sound, yeah. don't make any mistakes, just keep kind of pressuring, pressuring until you break. Do you think Eddie Bravo's, Bravo's gonna be able to take this pressure here? Yeah, um, we'll see how long he can he can withstand this. You know, Eddie, you know, and Eddie's very tricky. You know, one of the yeah. things Eddie did to, to help secure a victory was was pretend he was being choked. Right. It's a very famous story that, that, and if you ever get to talk to Eddie, he'll tell you the story, but you know, he'll let people put him in, in certain positions and certain chokes and start to make the gurgling like, oh, right. oh you got me, you got me. So somebody would commit, uh, you know, into something that's not gonna work and then exhaust themselves. And then when they give up on the choke that's not working, Eddie has his attacks. And here you see Eddie with his uh, lockdown. Look, at it's, it's such a classic battle, man. I mean, the knee slice versus the lockdown. I mean, both those moves are designed to beat each other, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Now, the pants uh, are coming into play here for Eddie Bravo. That is able mm -hmm. to kind of soak up the sweat mm -hmm. on the leg of Poiler Gracie. Who, who would you give the advantage to in wearing those pants? Would you prefer to face an Eddie Bravo with or without the pants? Yeah, that's a really good question. Uh, hmm. Uh, that's a tough question to answer, yeah. Kenny. I mean, right now, it, it, he's using it to his advantage. Eddie Bravo is such a smart guy, very smart competitor, doing a great job of controlling that right leg so far of Hoyler Gracie. But Hoyler has that right underhook, yep. putting a lot of pressure on Eddie Bravo right now. I'll tell you right now, Hoyler is not going to change his attack, Kenny. He is going to drive that knee through the middle and drive that knee through the middle and can continue trying to drive that knee through the middle until he gets that pass. Now, this is a similar position that Eddie Bravo, when he was able to catch Hoyler here, looked like Hoyler yeah. was in a great position. And then in an instant, Hoy uh, Eddie Bravo, with his flexibility and triangle attack, was able to set up a gorgeous submission and win. Yeah. The overhook Hoyler. wrist control triangle, which it, it, the camera watching, it's about holding the wrist like this right. and not like this. With that other grip, it's, right. It's holding from the bottom. And, and if you guys Thumb take time up. to yes. watch the replay, you'll, you'll notice that Hoyler was, uh, had, or sorry, Eddie managed to get control of Hoyler's wrist that way and, and but, make the space for the triangle. For those who could, for those who couldn't see it at home, Jeff, just grab my hand again. Yeah. Here, it's, it's, it's a difference of here and here. Right. Okay, and it, and it doesn't seem like much, but, but the way uh, it's Eddie a grabs your grip, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you one more time. It's 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 a grip. This is the grip Hoyler uh, wants to avoid. This is the grip Hoyler wants to avoid that that Eddie's really good with. If if Eddie gets this grip, it's really easy for Hoyler to break to the grip. Out, right? right. When you come from underneath, you cannot break that grip, Kenny. And and you know Eddie used that in 2003 to secure that triangle. Without a doubt. Nice explanation there, Jeff. Oh, thank you, Kenny. I knew you knew what you were talking about. I dibble dabble. <laughs> it's not luck that this guy was a jiu jitsu. Look at that, at the man. Look at the intensity. Oh, my goodness. We have Eddie Eddie got the lockdown. Down. We have the electric chair. He's stretching out that leg of Hoyler Gracie. I tell you right now, Hoyler is in pain. 
I'll tell you right now, Hoyler is not happy, Kenny. This is the electric chair technique by Eddie Bravo. Eddie Bravo was setting this up from the beginning. Hoyler is in pain right now, I promise you. That is really testing the flexibility of Hoyler Gracie right now. The groin hip area of Hoyler is in a lot of pain right now. You see the, the, the feet, the, the, the hooks of, and we have a reversal of Eddie Bravo. Woman on top, but Hoyler going right back. A brilliant reversal from Eddie Bravo. He's on right top back. here. Wow. Wow, this is amazing. You know, they say styles make fights, and Eddie Bravo just has a style that is so hard for Hoyler, Hoyler Gracie to deal with. Hoyler still not in a terrible position. He's not in that threat of a submission at this point, but certainly being tested here in the half guard as Eddie's working a pass to guard. Let's see, he still has that lockdown control, putting a lot of pressure on the hips. Hoyler is, is very uncomfortable here, I promise you can. Although, and we have the guard pass by Eddie Bravo. Very few people can have been able to pass the guard of, of Hoyler Gracie. This is amazing. You can see Eddie just trying to stay calm, just keeping his breath. Kenny, I'm trying to stay calm. <laughs> yeah, Eddie clearly in control here against Hoyler Gracie. Wow, this is amazing. You, you see a little bit of frustration from Hoyler. He keeps making his hand gestures. Uh, I'm not sure what he's trying to, to say with that. Well, I, again, uh, it, it is on him to try to escape at this point. Eddie in control here, inside control. The referee is not going to break them. I don't know how many of you guys can see, but uh, his, his very good friend, of course, the one and only Joe Rogan in the background, looking on intensely. Of course, Joe Rogan, a black belt in the 10th Planet system under Eddie Bravo. Look at the, the negative. Uh, we have a potential back attack. Oh, this is dangerous neck here for Hoyler. Neck crank. And he's sure. working on a neck crank here against Hoyler Gracie. Hoyler. Could he pull it off for what the second time in a row? Eddie Bravo is absolutely amazing, Kenny. Put in the Hoyler Gracie positions he's never been in. About Hoyler weathering the storm, Kenny. I mean, any other man would have tapped to that position. I mean, Hoyler is a true warrior here, Kenny. Eddie Bravo. Look at this. Look at him take the back with both hooks. Oh. Okay. Okay. Just want to have to get a headlock over here. I'm going nuts here, ladies and gentlemen. If Hoyler, Hoyler is smiling and says, now it's my turn. This crowd is on their toes. Nobody is sitting down. This is amazing, Kenny. What a beautiful wow. positional exchange from Hoyler Gracie and Eddie Bravo. What a show these two are putting. Kenny. Ladies and gentlemen at home, I hope you are pleased. A quick replay, let's see what we have here. Look at this escape from Hoyler Gracie as Eddie Bravo was just about to get his second hook in. Look at that left hook that's already in place really deep, but Hoyler able to shake him off the top. It was his posture, he did not allow that hook to get, come in, and now he's working in the half guard and again, of Eddie see, Bravo. We see the lockdown here uh, that Eddie Bravo throws on there. Now look, this is where I was saying, uh, the, the, the time, the conditioning uh, is gonna start to play a factor now. We're, we're, we're 10 minutes in, uh, you know, I believe at this point, Hoyler is gonna start to take control of the match. Eddie threw, Eddie had thrown his attacks at Hoyler early in the match. Hoyler, like I said, weathered the storm. Very could, interesting. Could we be seeing a little comeback here from Hoyler Gracie? You talked about Hoyler getting stronger as the rounds went on. Could we be seeing Hoyler Gracie pour it on now with just under nine minutes to go? Yeah, Hoyler Gracie is, is not only a jiu-jitsu fighter, a jiu-jitsu artist, he's an athlete. He is a true athlete. He is a healthy person. This guy wakes up in the morning and just it just starts eating healthy, like watermelons. And, you he know, lives by it. It is a lifestyle for him. Now this is set up for Eddie Bravo. Hoyler's Hoyler not on for this time. No, he isn't. Eddie with that, looking again for that overhook wrist control triangle. Now this is where you do not want Eddie Bravo. He's on the side of his hip. This is where he's dangerous and able to scoop under the hips of Hoyler Gracie. Let's see if Hoyler can get him flat on his back again. You hear the crowd starting to chant. I'm not sure who they're cheering for. And look at this setup from Eddie Bravo and once again. The electric chair. There it is. Ouch, that hurts, Kenny. Ouch, that hurts. I'll tell you right now, that is a very painful submission to be put in. 
These are some beautiful attacks from Eddie Bravo once again in half guard. Everyone talks about his rubber guard, his high guard, but I believe Eddie Bravo is most dangerous from that half guard position, something you know very well, Jeff. Absolutely. His, uh, do not uh, underestimate Eddie Bravo's half guard. This this position, like I said, is he calls it the electric chair. And if it wasn't for Hoyler's amazing flexibility. And toughness. And toughness yeah. and just grit. I mean... And, and look at this, this. what a sweep. reversal from Eddie Bravo. Wow, back and forth. I mean, these two guys in their 40s are putting on more of a show than any of the other competitors this evening, in my opinion. I mean, we are truly getting... And now we're getting a reversal from Hoyler. He gets on top. Wow. I I'm speechless, man. I'm running out of words, Kenny. It's a good thing it is at points. I would have lost count already. Both these guys have had some beautiful exchanges here. Uh, what would have been points in, a, in your typical Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu match or submission wrestling match. But, of course, here at Metamorphs, we are going for submission only. And it's Hoyler looking to try to pass that tricky guard of Eddie Bravo. Kenny, I'm going to just be quiet and be a fan for the rest of this. <laughs> All right. I mean, I am so honored to have the front row seats of this, this greatest match. So far, it has lived up to the highest. Absolutely. Eddie Bravo now with that left side underhook. Could he be looking for another reversal or electric chair setup? We have six and a half minutes, Kenny, and, and when you're exhausted, six and a half minutes seems like a lifetime. Yes. And, and, and you know, Eddie, you know, not known for his athletic prowess, always known as a technician. Uh, let's see how uh, the time uh, is affecting him here. Well, Eddie Again. really worked hard for this match. He took it so seriously. He finds so much inspiration in his two-year-old son, and he worked very hard for this. Coming in tremendous Another electric shape. chair here, Kenny. And a reversal with the electric chair. Kenny, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to study that move. I'm going to be doing that next week. Unbelievable. He's pulling it off time and time again against one of the best guard passers in jiu-jitsu history, Hoyler Gracie. If not the best guard yes, passer, Yes, absolutely. Arguably. And look at this. Another reversal from Hoyler. Hoyler with his basics, just, just being able to, to come on top. Look at And another reversal. Kenny, this is remarkable. This is... I am so excited right now. Eddie Bravo just has come out here with a brilliant strategy against Hoyler Gracie. Look at John's out there going up. Let's see if Scotty separates stop, them and puts them back stop, in the middle stop. here. Scott Nelson, the referee. The crowd is on their feet right now. Same position. Same Two men. I am gonna go home and practice all this stuff on Monday. <laughs> Absolutely. Bring me with you. You're on top. Yeah. Oh, we have bottom. a little. Come on. Uh, no, he was just, on top. You're on the bottom. We have a little. Uh, no, you're on the bottom here. Little, you're on the bottom. He's on the top. Disagreement on where they should be restarted. Exactly. Maybe we could cut to a replay to see where they were stopped. On top. Yeah. So Kenny and I could explain huh? exactly huh? where they were. Get the position. Some discussion Get the going position. on between Hoyler and Eddie and the on, referee you Scott Nelson. Get your knee down. No. No, see, now, in my opinion, I think we should start from the feet. Just start right back right. up. Or the and you have to imagine Eddie's probably would just drop the guard your anyway, but it's Hoyler. He's here. He's back here. here. You had the hooks. I had this. This is what I have. See what happens here. It's, this is a common problem in jiu-jitsu where, where matches get uh, thrown to the edge of the mat and they get sent, you know, re-centered again. It's very difficult to find that exact position. Let's see if we can get. Can we get a picture of the video to take a look. Uh, let's take a look here. Let's take a look at the video here. Uh, Scotty, Scott, guys, you said there start. Is, stay it, it is Eddie on okay. top here. Eddie's on top. This is right here. Scott, right here. Up. Lie down. This Lie is down. where he's stuck. Right here. It was Eddie Bravo on top. Yes. Right on. And that's great. Got great replay going back there. From down. Down. He's he's down. He's down on top. We have it. All the way down. Look, this right here. This, this here. Just my Ready? Go. Here Stop. we go. We're back at it. Eddie Bravo on top. That kind of quasi half guard. Go. Go. Yeah. Point of Gracie. Yeah. Eddie Bravo might be in a good position to take back here. We saw this position earlier with Samir and um, and Galermi. Pardon yes. Me. Uh, where Hoyler could possibly make a knee bar happen, although it, it, it looks unlikely here, but let's see what happens. I thought I saw that. Maybe I'm tripping. Leg, I'm tripping. Yeah. You're tripping. I'm tripping. <laughs> you can see 
Eddie Bravo in a great position. If Horner gets on top, he's still in trouble. He's still in the threat of that reversal or electric chair. Now look at this possible neck break setup from Eddie Bravo. Look at this. Of course, Eddie Bravo known around the world for his twister submission. A submission that I love myself. He's been using it since Blue Belt. I mean, Eddie Bravo knows how to do this twister. His nickname used to be Twister. Yeah. Probably still is, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. Awesome show. You can still call him the Twister. Yeah. He won't mind. Watch your leg, Eddie! Uh, I'll be honest with you, man. I'm impressed with Eddie's uh, cardio here tonight. Absolutely. With his conditioning, he, he doesn't seem to be tired at all, you know, for a 48 and 43 year old man to be going 20 minutes. These guys is, are is so amazing, impressive. Amazing, man. This is, this is a thing of beauty. Look at this roll. Oh, and we have a cast slice attempt. Both guys looking for the cast right there. Although Eddie seems to be a little deeper. Hoyler is in trouble He here. might be attacking the cap slicer here. Yeah, he's got it. If he can roll through, maybe oh, belly down, gosh. and then oh, get around the painful. backside. Hoyler says he's okay. Hoyler does not want to tab. Eddie Bravo in position for this cap slice. What a crazy position, man. I, I consider myself an expert at jiu-jitsu, and that position is confusing me, yeah. Kenny. How about the baits and setups of Eddie Bravo tonight? Uh, he, he's on fire. Looked focused all week, very calm at the rules meeting, joking around. Man, I love everything about both these guys. Hoyler defending well, and you know, if you know anything about Hoyler, you know he's not gonna tap easily. One of the toughest men in mixed martial arts, one of the toughest men in jiu-jitsu, defending this wow. cap slicer attempt from Eddie Bravo. Guys, we have three minutes left. I mean, these guys have not stopped pushing the action. It, it, it's been literally 20 minutes now. Non-stop right, movement from both these guys in their 40s. Kenny. These guys are in their 40s. Crazy. Hoyler Gracie is, is 48 years old, ladies and gentlemen. And he's really putting a lot of pressure down. That cap slicer, Ouch. Hoyler Gracie. Ouch. Hoyler oh. went kick a little bit there. Hoyler not exactly sure what to do here, it looks like. He's, he's got to push that knee down past his knee to relieve the pressure. And that, that, that leg is tied up there. And he really putting a lot of pressure on that. Boy, this lower is side of the foot of Hoyler Gracie there. Wow. It's amazing. This is amazing. It's a brilliant catch here from Eddie Bravo. Hoyler doing his best to try to get out of this position. Trying to control that right leg of Eddie to try to remove that grip. Kenny, two minutes left here in the match. The, this is hurting my knee just watching this at this yeah. point, both for Eddie oh. and Hoyler, and you can see Hoyler now oh, what with kind a of position little bit more of a sense of urgency trying to roll out of it here. Hoyler does not want to submit in front of us. Uh, family and friends, both, both guys have, have you know their whole family academies, all their students are here. Both guys, like I mentioned earlier, have their reputation and bragging rights on the line here. We got a minute 30 here. Danny in the background calling out minute 30. Hoyler just suddenly smiling. Both guys smiling here. Having a great time. I mean, looking at this, these guys, two legends going out of here, having a great time out here on the bats at Metamoris. Exchanging a few words here. I'd be interested uh, to hear what they're talking about. You see Hoyler with a bit of a smile there, Kenny. Yeah. Eddie Bravo trying to. These guys looking at each other smiling. This is amazing. Get rid of this grip. And look at this. The, the, the pant leg of Eddie Bravo is, is, is helping Hoyler in yes, this exchange. Yes, Hoyler wise to utilize that, that pants, man. If it's there, why not use it? Absolutely. We have 50 seconds left. Let's see what happens. I mean, if. if you hear the crowd chanting Eddie Bravo. I'll tell you right now, the only way to tap Hoyler Gracie is with a choke. There is no joint lock in the world. Yeah, that Hoyler is, tap is not going to tap from that. Wow, what an interesting position, ladies and gentlemen. You at home to break down that position. I'm impressed. What a wow. match! Wow. Standing ovation. I think How do you not stand up and give it up for me?